In this problem, we're being asked to interpret the graphs of two functions. In this case, these are linear functions. I know that because they're represented by straight lines. And uh, we're just going to need to read the graph and see if we can answer some questions from the information on the graph. Let's see what it says. Jenny and Ashley are driving separate cars to Boston. They begin the trip with full gas tanks. The amount of gas in gallons remaining in the tank of each car depends on the number of miles driven. Well, that makes sense as shown below. OK, so let's look at this graph. We have the gas here on the y-axis. And it looks like Jenny starts with 11 gallons. Ashley starts with 14 gallons. But it looks like Ashley uses up gas more quickly. Her line is steeper there, so it goes down more quickly. And then on, along the bottom here, along the x-axis, that's how many miles have been driven. So it looks like after 350 miles, that's when uh, Ashley runs out of gas. And after 550 miles, that's when Jenny runs out of gas. All right, let's see if we can answer these questions. The first one says, after 100 miles driven, which car will have more gas remaining? OK, well, that's pretty easy to find out. So it's after 100 miles driven, we can go along the bottom here and find the 100, and then go up and see how much gas each one has. So Jenny has 9 gallons, and Ashley has 10 gallons. So it looks like Ashley is the answer. She'll have more gas. And then it says, how much more gas will it have? And Ashley's car will have, well, one more gallon. So one gallon. All right. Let's try the next question. After how many miles will the tanks contain the same amount of gas? So where on this graph will the tanks contain the exact same amount of gas? That's going to be where the lines cross each other, right here. Both cars have eight gallons. And to figure out how many miles that is, you just go down to the miles. So that's at 150 miles. So the answer to the first part of that one is 150. And then it says, if the number of miles driven is less than this, which car will have less gas remaining? So what that means is we want to go in the direction of fewer miles, less miles than that. So you're going back this way. From that point on, which car has less gas. Well, that's Jenny's car that has less gas at that point. So that's a little bit of work with interpret interpreting the graphs of functions.